In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the sum and sum if functions in Google Sheets. The sum function totals the numbers or the series of cells that you've selected, and the sum if functions does the same but under a condition or criteria. So let's start with the sum function. Put in your equal sign, and you have a suggested formula right there, but let's just type it in. So we have the sum. Open quotation mark, your range, which is C2 to C17. And when you're done, just press on enter, and there you have the total. Let's try that with the total sales. Again, start with the equal sign. And you have there the suggested formula, which we can just click because it is the correct range. If you click on it, you have the total. Now let's try the sum if function. So again, it computes for the total, but within a condition. So start with the equal sign, type in sum if, click on that. This is the range where your criteria is. So we're just going to select this one, comma, your criterion, which is the t-shirts. You're computing for all the t-shirts that have been sold and the sum range. Press enter and you have the total quantity of t-shirts that have been sold. Now let's try it with the caps. So start with the equal sign. Now you have the suggested formula, but let's just type it in. So sum if your range, comma, criterion, comma, and your sum range. Press enter and there you have it. Now let's try with the total sales. So start again with the equal sign, type in sum if, your range, criterion, and the sum range. So we're going to compute for the total sales of all the t-shirts and press enter. Now let's try with the caps, your range again, your criterion, which is the caps, and the sum range. Press enter, and you've successfully computed for just the total sales of the t-shirts and the caps. And that's how easy it is to use the sum and sum if functions in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.